Hey guys, welcome to this week's recap of RuPaul's Drag Race season finale, episode 16, the grand finale. And guys, the way I've been dodging social media so that I don't get spoiled of the final cut, y'all, oh my gosh, I am so grateful because I truly, 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 truly get to enjoy this. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, please watch it because it's so worth watching before you actually know the result. So let's get into this recap and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come on and join the gang, follow us. So we're at the Ace Hotel in downtown Los Angeles, and we get to see all the queens of six, uh, season 15 take the runway. We get to see all our queens, starting with Irene Dubois, and I love this moment for her. You know, I'm happy she gets to grace the stage. We have Princess Poppy and her outfit was sickening this is the best princess poppy has ever looked then we have miss sugar and i'm like yes mama gave then we had amethyst she looked good and of course robin fierce is gonna turn a look she definitely served and then we had aura maori and she gave material and she gave signage okay i loved her look then Jax, oh my god, Jax, this is exquisite. The budget on this look, she looked hot, 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 hot. Then we had Spice, she looked very seductive. Then we had Baby Doll Fox, who gave glam. Marsha, she, she, she looked like such a sweetheart. She gave, she gave. And then Selena Estetis, she was living her Disney princess era, okay? And... Finally, we had Lucy LaDuca, and oh my gosh, her look was sickening. Oh my God, when she bowed and you saw her brain, I thought that was such a nice little detail. I truly did enjoy that. Then we have our finalists, our top four. First to come out was Anitra. She gave a stunning fighter look. Our girl is definitely a fighter. She was giving me Christina Aguilera, okay? Then we had Lux, and I'm like, okay, show girl, I see you. We see you on the Las Vegas Strip. Pretty much this look giving the fantasy of that. And then we have Mistress. She was super, super sexy. I love how she is not shy to give us sexy, okay? And then, of course, we had our mama, Sasha Colby. And I'm like, okay, Miss Icon, Miss Unforgettable. She was soaking in that moment. And then, of course, we have RuPaul, who graced the stage, giving us super leader of the universe. And, of course, we got a performance for her. So this show just makes me so happy because the girls, the girls look good. The girls look hot. That is why we have all this commotion going on. So, of course, our top queen, our top four queens will perform an original number. And two, and the two that impresses Rue will go head to head in our final lip sync battle, y'all. So first up, we have Anitra. So Anitra in her package, she is so humble. She is so sweet. I truly did enjoy her journey. I like how we get the duality of Anitra. We get the calm, silent killer pretty much. You know, because when she takes the main stage, it's like she really turns it up. So her original song is called Lotus. And I I love that we got the classic bodysuit from Anitra. Anitra, she's going to give us, when she's lip syncing, she's going to give us a bodysuit, honey, okay? So I thought she is ready to slay these girls. So I like that we get we got a little drop. And she really worked the stage. I was really, really hoping that she was going to give us, you know, her duck walk, her classic duck walk. But, you know, I felt like she was holding that for the end, if she, if she passes through, because she gave us a really live, lively performance. So the judges' critiques, they called her the Portia of this White Lotus, and I feel like that's the best commentary that you could receive. Her father and stepmother were here to in support, and I love that, you know, we got to see the whole journey, and I love how supportive her father 
is for her drag and he gives great advice and i thought you know i need trip eight so i'm like okay this is gonna be this is gonna be hard because these girls are gonna make it so difficult for us to choose okay up next we had lux and i love her interview package she just gives super confidence super inspirational i feel like if you need to wake up in the morning and you need to pick yourself up to get out and take on the day you have to watch her interview package because i felt like it gave me so much life so much hope and i just love how you know nothing seems to get in lux way like she's ready to kill she's really ready to come for these girls so her original solo song, her number is going to be called It's Giving Fashion. And immediately I thought, okay, Fierce, I was so stunned. Like, I love that we get served pretty much looks from Lux. Like, she just let her gayness just shine and we just eat it up we just eat it up so i love that we got a reveal and i thought the song was super catchy i felt like it was more of a dancing situation i just wish she had a little bit more lip sync into it but we did get a really 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 strong performance from lux i love seeing lux perform so the judges critiques so Mich michelle visage says that she and the Golden State is super proud of our Lux. You know, Miss Lux is from New Jersey and she delivered for the girls. She represented the queens there. So she did a great, 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 great job. So her mom was in the audience and her boyfriend in support. And, you know, the family was super, super modest, just like Lux. And I'm just so in love. It's like, of course she got it from the mama. The mama was giving a cute little bob moment. I'm like, okay. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And it seems like Lux has a great support system having her back. And I really enjoyed Lux's journey definitely on this show. So, ooh, another tough one to, you know pick who's who to go up next so we get a little tribute to the wonderful bob mackie and we had a moment to recognize the, the genius of bob mackie and i'm just thinking what an icon the outfits the looks of course his work inspired so many queens who come on to rupaul drag race to showcase their looks also, you know, not only just drag queens, but around the world in pretty much the culture. So I, I'm so happy that we got to see Bob Mackie living well, so happy. And he was honored our next, he was honored with the Give Us Lifetime Achievement Award. And he looks so happy. You know, Bob Mackie, who was there as a judge on the first season of RuPaul's Drag Race. So what a moment for him. I live, honey. I lived. I lived. I lived. So, our next queen to perform is Mistress. Okay, and in her interview, you know, Miss Mistress, she's gonna give us sass. She's gonna give us super confident, super inspirational. And her song, she's calling it Delusion. And I'm like, what a perfect way to wrap up this into a bow. This whole season, she's been dragging the queens about delusion, delusion, delusion. So I felt like this was a great way, you know, within her brand to really give it to the girls. And I enjoyed her performance on stage. We got a little reveal. We got body. I just love that she doesn't shy away from body. Like, she always gives, okay? And, ooh, I loved, I loved the moment where she just got picked up by the men and was supported. I always thought that was so iconic. I thought that was so iconic. So her critiques... Wait, before I get to her critiques, I would like to say that her look was... Her song, honestly, was giving me Bob the Drag Queen vibes. And, you know, I just was so mesmerized by it. So I can't wait for the judges to give her critiques. So her critiques are is that she cleared the confusion if she could be picked up. And I'm like, yes, she did. She did. She did. And she is in her finale era. Okay. So in support for her on this episode is her drag mother and her best 
friend and they all are super proud of her and how she represented not only texas not not only her family but herself and i feel like that's a nod to miss mistress who really gave the girls what they wanted you know and i am here for it so you know our final queen and i've been looking forward to this this whole time is miss sasha colby okay so miss sasha colby she is living in her icon moment error in her interview i feel like she was like gracing us with her presence she is just so mesmerizing i feel like i, I when i see her kind of think of janet jackson i kind of think of like seeing like a legend like oh we're all here for the sasha colby meet and greet so it's like we're meeting an icon i felt like this was a just a perfect encapsulation of her work in this competition i love how you know she is not only humble but she knows who she is and she's very confident in what she does and i'm excited to see her performance and her song is called goddess and oh, oh my god she was serving us looks in the interview package so i was like okay let's get to the performance let's get to the performance and miss sasha kobe she comes out y'all she's she comes out and she is ready to perform okay so she comes out carried she comes out carried with the men onto the stage and i feel like this is giving like mariah carey vibes okay this is giving iconic vibes and her hair is just braided so long she's wearing this long up i'm like how she's gonna perform in this is this the lip sync this is what she's gonna do and then she just gives us a reveal okay and i just thought like this ma'am miss ma'am is a performer she, of course she's gonna give us body one thing about miss Sasha kobe is she's gonna give us body she's gonna give us performance and she's gonna give us neck crack flip okay the way she cracked her neck flipped that hair oh my god that was so sickening i was like so gagged by the performance super super gagged i love the whole three attributes of it all so in support so look of course i i jumped the judges critiques because do we really need to hear the judges critiques the judges critiques felt like she was just giving professional like this is a professional performing like this is what you get this like this is the this is the top okay this is top level so in support of sasha colby we have her best friend and a sister sister she had she had all her people all her people came in support of, of sasha colby like i even saw from the um the audience her drag baby her drag baby and um miss carrie colby we saw miss carrie colby and I just, I was just so, so entranced by Miss Sasha Colby. And I'm like, this top four is just an excellent top four. I don't think we've ever seen such a top four like this. The girls of the queens of the season, of the season, season 15, they were all gagged by her performance. They all ate. They ate, they, 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 they ate what she was serving, okay? And I felt like she had a standing ova ovation moment too. I was so proud of Sasha. Obviously, I'm here for Sasha for the win because she really gave, okay? So, Anitra, of course, is moving forward. And RuPaul, he tells the obvious. He says, Sasha Colby is moving forward and to the f finale lip sync. So, of course, I felt for Lux and Mistress. But I felt like they had such a great season. And I hopefully look forward to seeing them in All Stars. <sighs> y'all. Y'all. I just wish... Uh, I, I felt so bad for Lux and, and Mistress. But they did so great. I This competition was so tight. It's just, it was, it, it's just so tight. But someone has to win. Someone has to move forward. But I do hope to see them for All Stars. So we have a meth message from the fans, and of course, it's to defend queer people. So this show is a platform. It's a safe space, a vehicle to unify our drag community. So we have a performance from Wig Loose composer Leland, and also from this season, Orville Peck, who, who was a guest judge, Orville Peck, and the Queens of 15, and they performed the song, Builds on Drag. 
So I enjoyed this performance because, you know, this reinforces what we're here for. We're here to unify the girls. We have to hear to present and protect our queers and our community. So I love that we had this moment uh, in RuPaul's Drag Race as a whole show in its entirety. We get everything. We get performance. We get message. We get political. We get everything thing and we get the fashion y'all i'm always here for the fashion but we also here for a great cause so we have our reigning queen miss willow pill and she comes out for her strut down the runway i enjoyed willow pill i love a little willow pill i love rupaul saying willow pill so i thought that she used her platform for a great purpose she brought something different, something dynamic, something we haven't seen on stage. No shade to Lucy Naduka, because Lucy Naduka, she, she served today. She served it today at the finale, okay? So we also have her sister come out on stage, Miss Cornbread. And Miss Cornbread, she looks super fierce, strutting out. And she is here to announce this season Miss Congeniality. And I just love that she rapped. Before she said, before I'm going to hand out my my crown of Miss Congeniality, I'm going to give y'all a quick little performance to let you remember who I am. And I just loved it. I love that she ate. She included all the queens into her rap. And, of course, for Miss Congeniality is voted by the queens to decide who is Miss Congeniality of this season. And Miss Malaysia Bebe Doll Fox is our Miss Congeniality. And because she's our winner, she gets a 10K cash prize. Sponsored and paid by Miss Ole. Okay, Miss Ole, honey, cut the check, cut the check. Okay. So she's not only our only prize winner, all the queens will also be receiving $2K, $2,000 from Miss Olay. So I was so happy for our queens because you know it takes a lot to come and present yourself to get onto this main stage. You definitely need a budget. So I'm happy all the queens they get paid. They all get paid. They all get paid. They all get paid. Okay. Next up, we had a performance from Jinx Monsoon, our Broadway star. And she gives a performance, and she looks, mama looks good. Mama looks good, okay? And not only her performance was giving, it was a whole live, a whole live performance, y'all. And that is not easy. She, she didn't sing on a record. She didn't sing on with no accompaniments, only with, like, instruments, with a live band. And her voice. Her voice gave. I'm so proud of Jinx Monsu. She looked phenomenal. And of course, I love that we got to see her flashback when she uh, originally started on RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, it just goes show the power of manifestation. And Jinx Monsoon is our queen of manifestation. She, from the jump, saw herself as a Broadway star. She was giving star, okay? And look where she's at now, our little star. Not a little star, but a big star, okay? On the Broadway stage. I love that. Dreams really do come true. And I I love to see it. So, you know, everyone, please manifest for yourself what you want to be, what you want to be. I know what I want to be. I feel like I'm, I want to be unforgettable. So, hopefully, I will be, un- I will be unforgettable, okay? So now we have our final showdown. Y'all, we know Anitra don't play. We know Sasha Colby don't play. So, whew, I had to capture my breath. I felt like we only get six minutes. I six minutes. Whew. So Anitra, she comes out. And of course... Of course, of course, of course, she's in a killer jumpsuit, a bedazzled jumpsuit. So you know we're going to get some leaps, some jumps, some ooh, some drops from Miss Anitra. But Miss Sasha Colby, she comes out in this huge puffer dress moment. Over the top, over the top. 
like a showgirl. She she come at, come in with her fur. I thought that was so bougie. I was like, okay, Miss Diva. So the girls, there will be lip singing to a song called Knock on Wood by Miss Amy Stewart. And y'all, I already knew. Okay, you see, you see Anitra coming to jumpsuit? We know we're going to get instant movement, which she gave instant movement. And then Miss Sasha Colby come out with this killer jumpsuit over the top, over the top diva behavior. And I'm like, okay, we're going to get an instant reveal. So I love, of course, we got an instant reveal from Sasha Colby. And we got a little dress moment. I said, like, okay, Miss Dress, I see you. It looks cute. But then we get an instant reveal of body. And I'm like, oh my God. I, I gagged at that moment. And she, 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 she delivered. She took him on that stage and when i saw that i said i, I couldn't even look at any i said I, my all my eyes was just glued on miss sasha colby and all i can think of is like miss sasha hey poor little baby anitra it's not your moment it's of course the sasha colby meet and greet and she is delivering so of course rupaul he comes out and he announces the winner which is so clear and so obvious i already wrote it down when he was saying it i said it's miss sasha colby our winner of rupaul's drag race and of course he says miss sasha colby and it's just like of course i'm i was so happy so proud of Miss Sasha. She delivered consistently and grew throughout this whole season. She really did thrive. She really did learn through all her moments. And she was one of the girls, you know, threats. The one of the girls, one of the girls that the girls gotta look at out for. So I really enjoyed this season of RuPaul's Drag Race. I felt like we had really great performers. We had really great fashion we have really great iconic moments and reads so i look forward to all stars so with all stars you know i do want miss sasha Kobe to come back i feel like mama not finished yet but miss mama sees her having a show she sees herself you know gracing the stage in the future so i know we're gonna see miss sasha again so what are your guys thought like was it obvious like it, i felt like it was so obvious miss sasha was gonna win miss sasha woo, that body ate that body ate and of course at the end she said trans women are here to stay and yes mama yes mama so i really enjoyed this episode i don't know i i have to check to see when all stars is gonna come up because what we're gonna do now what we're gonna do now without rupaul's drag race on fridays y'all so if you enjoyed this recap please like share and subscribe i have new shows coming up for a recap because as we see this this season is over so of course i'm gonna be looking for something new for you for, to watch for you guys so if you have any recommendations let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe support your girl please y'all <laughs> i appreciate every one of you and as always share as much kindness as possible goodbye take care and be safe this weekend y'all okay be safe be safe be safe bye